Welcome to another episode of the Balancing Hormones Naturally podcast, where we offer actions and steps you can take today to start balancing your hormones naturally. This is your podcast host, Leah Brueggemann. I am a functional diagnostic nutritional practitioner. I am honored and excited to be your guide on your journey to better understanding your hormonal health and how it affects your everyday life. Results. You're like doing all the things here, Leah. I'm I'm trying. I'm doing all the things. Um, I'm I'm taking all my supplements. I'm managing my stress. I'm balancing my blood sugar, and I am not seeing results. And I I'm gonna actually tell you some stories for this <laughs> because I think you're going to relate to them. And And I I just think sometimes we need to take a really hard reflective look at ourselves. Okay. So when we're not seeing results, it's, well, first of all, um, are you working with somebody? And because this is going to change my answer. Like if you're working with somebody, do you trust them? Do you trust them? Have they explained things? Do you understand what's going on? Then go talk to them, you know, go talk to them. Um, make sure you guys are on the same page because it's going to take, you know, consistency. Right. And then secondly, maybe you do need to work with someone. Maybe you're just throwing spaghetti at the wall. You know, you're, you're trying to doctor Google your symptoms. Um, you're trying to like pull all the free information from from the internet everywhere and put it together and personalize it to yourself without like it actually being personalized to you. And so you feel like you're doing all the things, but nothing specific for you. That could be as simple as the answer there. But let's say you are on a personalized protocol or you're like, you know, I know, I know what I'm doing. I don't know why this isn't working. Um, here are some things to think about. Are you actually being consistent? Are you? Like, let's be real. Are you actually being consistent? Oh my goodness, I think I just blew your eardrums out. I hope I didn't. And the reason why I say that is a lot of times we think that we're being consistent with our nutrition. We think we're being consistent with our supplements. We think we're being consistent with all the things. But then if we actually take a harsh look and track, we're like, oh, oh heavens. Um, We're actually not. Um, And... I'm going to tell you some funny stories about this because like, I just think that we don't realize sometimes what we're doing until we put it all together. We're going to take a quick moment for today's sponsor. I think the hardest thing when you're making product swaps to non-toxic living is finding things that are actually non-toxic and not greenwashed and actually work. That being the key phrase right there. I tried out Roe Casa Organics, spent my own money on this, you guys, and I am thoroughly impressed. And so I reached out and I got a discount code for you. So I want to share with you some of my favorite product swaps to non-toxic that actually work, are actually non-toxic, and you're going to really, really, really like, okay? So, okay, it's really hard to choose, but number one has got to be their body butter it's got to be if you want your legs to look so smooth and so incredible and be so luxuriously moisturized you need their body butter it's my favorite thing ever so that's going to be number one number two is going to be their magnesium cream or gel i use that at nighttime so amazing and if you really want to optimize like how well you sleep do their magnesium gel or their magnesium cream with their tart cherry juice because it has valerian and chamomile extract in it so you're going to sleep amazing it's also great for blood pressure which is cool and then on top of that i do their you can do their deep sleep salve on the bottoms of your feet you will sleep like a baby and we all know how important sleep is for our hormones and then i know that i love all of their products but i'm going to give them two other honorable mentions because they're i think they're so important you guys, their lymphatic cream is one of the coolest things ever. Make sure you drink enough water when you use it, but it's incredible. You can see the different difference in inflammation in the face, like literally seeing people's faces thin out just by getting rid of inflammation. So I highly recommend the lymphatic cream. 
Also, if you ever get swollen ankles or anything like that, it's great to have on hand like after you're hiking. The muscle joint cream is also awesome for that. And you guys, you want, <laughs> this is gonna sound weird, but you want the baby bottom cream and you want it for yourself. You, you want it for your babies, but you want it for yourself because if you put this on after shaving, you get no razor bumps. It's, it's like this magic potion. So anyway, those are all of the ones that I would start out with. You can go to rocasorganics.com, use the code Leah, L-E-A-H, for 20% off your first order. Yes, that's 20% definitely take advantage. I had a past client share this story with me. Um, and I know I, I'm obviously not going to share her name, but, um, she won't mind me sharing this because it's kind of funny. She, so she saw massive improvement, did such a good job. And, um, she had a baby and she was kind of just like, you know, retouching base with everything. And she's like, I thought I was doing so well with like my blood sugar balance and you know, my nutrition. And so I just decided for one week to like write it down what I was eating. And I looked back and was just like, what on earth? <laughs> because sometimes, you know, we th we'll, we'll grab something for a snack or we'll grab something for a meal. And it's like, oh, it's just one snack or it's one meal. I'm just going to grab this and I'm not, I'm not going to balance my blood sugar. It's fine. I did it at the other meals. And lo and behold, we're doing that for almost every snack and every meal and just not paying attention because we're super busy, right? And then you look back and you're like, um, I thought I was doing a really good job. <laughs> I thought I was doing a great job. Guess not. So I think that doing an audit is the number one thing that I would start with. So like literally sitting down or for a week, writing down your foods is doing an audit of what you're actually eating, what you're actually consuming, not what you think you're consuming, not what you want to be consuming, not what you hope to be consuming, but what you're actually eating. And I would do it with a non-judgment face, like a non-judge, like if this isn't going to work if you're just going in there to shame yourself, right? And be like, I told you, Leah, I told you you were doing such a bad job. That's not going to help you. That's not going to help anybody for that matter. So... I think that's really important to start off with um, is just doing kind of an audit with the nutrition. And then I would do an audit with the supplements too. Like, you know, I'm, I'm on the right supplements, but are you actually taking them at the right time? Are you actually taking them every day? And I will hear that a lot from clients. They're like, no, I, I am on that. I am taking that supplement. It's just, you know, I'm probably only getting in once, twice a week. I'm like, well, <laughs> you're supposed to be taking that every day. So... If you aren't taking it as you're supposed to, you can't really get upset if your protocol is not working, right? So, so do an audit of your food, do an audit of like your supplements, that kind of stuff. And then do an audit of like your foundations, you guys. Are you supporting your liver? Are you sleeping? Are you balancing your blood sugar? Are you prioritizing managing stress? And are you being consistent? Or have you given this two weeks and then you're just like, why is this not working? If you are not seeing results, it's very possible you're on the wrong protocol. It's very possible like you need to get some labs and you need to dig deeper. I 100% can concur with that. But I also think that it's really, 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 really important to to take a hard look and be honest with yourself. Are you being consistent? Are you being consistent? It's not always the fancy stuff that gets you there. It's the consistency. It's the consistency. And sometimes we think we're being really consistent, but we're not. And this is where I've done this. I've totally done this. And this is where writing things down and tracking for a week can just be so eye opening because you're like, wow, I need, like, for example, let's say you have an autoimmune disease, you can't have gluten. And you're like, well, I thought I was gluten free, but guess not. Because, you know, I ate my daughter's cracker here. I drank something here. Um, and then we, and, and then there's your answer, right? Or are you actually sitting down and relaxing before you eat your food? Or are you just constantly on the run? So your body's constantly in this fight or flight, you know? And we always poo-poo this like, oh my goodness, I just need to find the next gut supplement or whatever. But you guys, if you don't feel great, like you need to come back to your foundations and you need 
to focus on consistency. And it's it's not going to happen overnight. True healing does not happen overnight. Okay? So I want to talk about something that I think will help you be consistent. Now that, you know, we all, we all peeled off the band-aid and we're being completely honest with ourselves. I hope you are. And that's um, something I use with my clients and it call, it's called levels. Le- like different levels of like consistency. So, or degrees. I don't, however you want to call it, it doesn't really matter to me. Level one is like the non-negotiables if like a bomb went off in your backyard, which I really hope doesn't happen. Um, those are the things that you will do no matter what. So I would say like these have to rank the highest in importance. Um, and they, but they also have to be something that's so simple in case everything goes wrong. You can still be like, I won my day because I got those done. So for some people, like that's their adrenal supplement or maybe that's their digestive bitters or maybe that's getting outside or maybe that's taking a magnesium bath or maybe it's chewing their food or maybe it's getting in a specific food. I, I don't know what your first level is, but it's going to be like the bare minimum. It's not too many things. This is like I'm telling you if like everything hits the fan, you can still get this done. Okay. And you, and this is this level of consistency. So it's it's also helpful too because like when things go wrong and life gets stressful the last thing you want to do is decide okay what can I do today and then at that point we're so full of decision fatigue that you don't do anything and then you feel even worse because you got nothing done or all of the above so this kind of takes out the decision um, factor and you can just kind of follow through If you're really competitive when it comes to getting your movement in and and you know if your friend's getting it in, then you're going to get it in, then you are really going to enjoy the Walk Easy app. Their whole mission statement is that you can promote physical movement in a positive way. So we're not doing this to punish our bodies, but you can track and compete with your friends and your family on getting your steps in. So guys, walking, most underrated type of movement out there. It's, I mean, it's so stress free on your body and it helps improve your sensitivity to insulin and it's not like you're going to go out and do a HIIT workout and start raising those cortisol hormones and we don't want that, okay? So walking is something that I recommend to all of my clients and now you can get it in and a competitive way. I don't know. I'm, if I know that I want to stick to something, I tell somebody else about it and I try and drag them with me. So this is just the perfect combination. And on top of that, while you're on your walk, you can listen to an audio guided session depending on what your goal is. So if you're going out on a walk, mostly because you need that break and you need that mental peace, then choose the one that is a self-love walk. It's all about improving your self-esteem. If you're someone that's like, I need to kill two birds with one stone. I need to write my to-do list. I need to go outside to clear my head. Then you're going to want to choose a goal setting walk, which is the audio guided walk to define your life goals or just your goals in general. If you're like me, I need to just define my goals for the week. Or you can go on the cardio walk, which is a much faster walk. You can go burn off steam. You The, the cool thing is you just can compare steps and support each other and compete. I don't know. I just, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to drag somebody else with me and then I'm going to be consistent with it. So if one of your goals is to get more movement in and you're too scared to like commit to it by yourself and this is going to be the perfect fit for you and I love that it's just a celebration of your what your body can do and they're combining the benefits of walking and mental health so it does not get better than that you guys I'm always talking to you about support your blood sugar balance walking is so important for that and then on top of that I'm telling you to lessen your stress load manage your stress and getting out in nature and getting out and walking is such a great way to do that so go to the link in the show notes it'll be one of the links and it says walk easy go ahead and download that you don't need a fancy gadget you just need your phone you guys download that and go ahead and start getting in your movement and let me know how you like it And then level two would be all of levels, one things, but then a few extra things that you are like, okay, this really helps me feel better, or I really want to make sure I get this done. And then level three would be like, 
everything, like everything on your protocol um, to stay or all the things that you need to be doing, all your supplements, all the self-care things, all the um, all the good foods. And that would be level three. And do we strive for level three every day? Yeah. But like, let's say, I don't know, you wake up and you get a horrible phone call or you wake up and you have a horrible migraine and, you know, I don't know, something happened at work and we tend to just kind of throw everything away. And I don't want you to throw everything away. So what are like, what are your level one things that you can do on that day? Does that make sense? And I, and I find that this to be like super helpful for my clients to stay ouch more consistent because you are taking away the decision factor right now that being said I think like habit stacking and um habit stacking and making things like more ouch um sorry mosquitoes um habit stacking and simplifying is going to make your life easier so like if you have to get the granny pill box out um and put, like every week do your pills like Monday through Friday you, you do that honey you do that um if you have to fill your glass of water the night before and put some lemon in it and put it next to your bed because otherwise you're not going to drink water do that or put it next to your coffee maker or do you need to um tape your <laughs> thermometer next to to your alarm clock um because you keep forgetting to take your temperature in the morning, then do that. Okay. So how can you think about what's something that you already do? So I had a client, for example, that did fill up her glass of water the night before and she put it next to her bed and that's how she would drink her water because she really struggles with water throughout the day. And I was like, okay, so now fill up your water glass, but then also fill up your water bottle and put it in your purse. Because then you just grab, you know, the next day you're busy, grab, go. You don't even have to like think about it, right? So what is something that you already do that you could stack something onto it that's like something, I'm talking like mind numbing things that you do, like you you turn off your alarm. So if your temperature things is like taped to it, you're obviously going to take your temperature because you grabbed it. Um, you always brush your teeth. So maybe you stack something with brushing your teeth that you've wanted to add on into the morning. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what you want to add. Maybe it's your supplements that you need to take away from food. So you put them next to your toothbrush or something like that. Does that make sense? I want to take a moment to invite you and let you know that applications for one-on-one coaching are open the next round is in november and i'm super excited about it so i just wanted to share a little bit about what you can expect from one-on-one coaching like is one-on-one coaching even a good fit for you so application for one-on-one coaching is in the link in my bio go ahead and click that um you can read even more about it link in my bio why do i keep saying that link is in the show notes get it together and you can go ahead and apply there. You do have to apply for one-on-one coaching. We do have limited spots available. We only take 10 at a time because we obviously work very closely with you. We run labs, all that good stuff. So I want to tell you a little bit about kind of what happens. So it is four months and we will work together closely during that time. You get three group calls a week. And the reason why I do group is I wanted a combination of you getting one-on-one coaching from me, but also a community of women that are working together for the same goals because it can be lonely and it can be frustrating. And also on top of that, everybody has different questions. So it's fun to get to know um, like other aspects of health and you're like, oh my gosh, I was struggling with that, but I didn't even maybe realize, but somebody else asked a question. And then, so I love the community aspect of that as well. But you do have Voxer support, which is a voice text messaging app Monday through Friday. It's like having your practitioner in your back pocket. We do run labs. Um, a Dutch hormone panel and a hair mineral analysis are both included. And you will get that um, test sent to you. And then you get the analysis video, everything broken down, personalized protocols, 
all of that good stuff. So one-on-one -on -one coaching would be for you over like a group program. A, you need way more customized support. You want that longer container. You want to run the labs. You are just like, I have a thousand questions and I want to be able to talk to you and have your eyeballs on my, like my food journal every single week. I want you to be like really in depth on what's going on in my cycle. Maybe you have endometriosis, maybe you have like a chronic condition, um, you've been struggling for a really long time, or you're just like, you know what, I really just want the dedicated one-on-one -on -one support, um, then this would be for you. So I have a bunch of testimonials from when I worked with. If you go to the application, you can go ahead and look at them. Um, and of course, I love connecting you with some of my previous one-on-one um, -on -one clients. If you're like, hey, I want to talk to someone who's been through it because I understand it can be like a scary investment, but at the same time, like you guys, your health is so worth it. If you've been feeling crappy for a really long time, I mean, it's priceless. It's priceless to finally feel better. I've worked with so many endo clients and women who just have been feeling horrible for so long and I love hearing from you that you know you are a nurse and you don't have to call in sick anymore because of your periods you have energy you don't have to like rely on coffee anymore you play with your kids again I get messages from husbands being like I have my wife back um, so if you are interested in this then I would highly recommend going and applying and then we will chat um, all details about everything that's included pricing and everything is in the application and now back to the rest of the episode so the more you can simplify and stack the more consistent you're gonna be because consistency is the reason why you're not seeing results consistency with the right protocol obviously so if you're like I haven't worked with someone I've just been trying to like MacGyver my way through then maybe this is a really great time to work with somebody because they can shorten that time strain maybe it would take you 10 years to figure this out and they can shorten that to a couple months right so um that's my two cents for the day and for life in general okay are you actually being consistent and then how do you support yourself on being more consistent? Definitely, I want you to take some time today to think about your different levels, your different degrees of like things that you want to do and stack them. Because if you don't sit down and figure it out, like when a day gets stressful, you're going to be like, oh, should have done that. Should have done what Leah said. Yes, honey, you should have. So think about it now. Think about it now. Um, so like one of my non-negotiables is my magnesium. I just feel like a whole new person when I have my magnesium. Um, that's my like level one of my things is my magnesium because like even if I totally forget everything else, I can take my magnesium before I go to bed. Um, so that's definitely a non-negotiable for me. Um, so anyways, I hope that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you for listening to today's episode of Balancing Hormones Naturally. If you found this helpful, I would love for you to share it with a friend and post it on your stories and tag Balancing Hormones Naturally podcast so we can get this message out. You can find me on Instagram at Leah underscore B-R-U-E-G and I would absolutely love to hear from you.